This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Big red letters, it's Alex. And on the white letters there, it says the Ramble. Okay, that's what it says. Okay, and we'll be here until midnight tonight. Yeah, that's how late we'll be here. Uh, wait a minute, why? Now, you see you see what happens? There's always something that goes wrong with my, with my pictures. Okay, so you see how it's, well, it was making noise there for a while. Oh, there it is again. Okay, let me see here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, all right. Is it okay now? Is it all right? I have no. I, let me let me just uh, let me just do something here, and try and uh, there we go. Uh, go into the filters here, and uh, I'm gonna find a uh, the chroma key uh, here, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll 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 I just have to adjust it. See, I adjust the chroma key. Hold on a second. I'll go to defaults. Okay, is it better now? Oh yeah, it's much, oh no, it's not better yet. Okay, smoothness, no, we gotta, there we go. I think we're fine now. I think we're okay. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it later, I don't need it on this one anyway. Okay, let me see here, uh, close. You know, ever since uh, I put in this new machine, well, let me explain it to our old friend, I decided uh, to bring uh, Phil back uh, tonight, uh, and and the reason is that he didn't get a really good shot yesterday, and well, I think so much of him that I want him to get a good shot, huh? Are you there, Phil? I'm right here. There, and talk to me. All right. Yes, well, see, it know, works. It works. See, let me yeah, explain. I I uh, I heard you on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I I watched the feed for a second or two before you. Mm -hmm. Let me join in, and uh, well, well, the problem we had we had a big problem last night, yeah. and the problem yeah. was that when we went on, nobody could get audio. Not necessarily for me; they could sometimes hear me, but they couldn't hear the the panel. Yeah. Now, so I'm looking at everything over on the board over here, right, to try and correct the thing, and I'm flipping this thing and flipping that thing, and I'm getting the audio of the of the of the group, but even when I turn down all my sliders all the I'm, pots, st I'm yeah. still getting it after about an hour of of going back and forth on this i suddenly say well let me check out zoom and zoom right. had somehow come up with an entirely different attitude about this thing zoom was not going to agree with me <laughs> zoom <laughs> zoom uh had changed itself from saying that the audio was coming from one thing and then it was coming from another. Does that make any uh, and, sense? And that was that was due to just hooking everything back up or? And, well, it was due to having to, uh, you know, I'm still trying to do something with this, uh, with this video. I, things drive me nuts, so I just have to absolutely fudge around with them a, a uh, bit. You know, you, you, on your new, uh, you must have put another picture mm -hmm. for your background. It's got a different angle, a yeah. little wider, a yeah. uh, little wider. Uh, is that, did you clone in another window or is that? No, no, this is a different windows? shot. This gets all three windows. Oh, okay. Which is really nice because you can see out the side the window there. See? Yeah. Uh, now, is there a, a, a reflection of something in the on, what I see to the left window the, yeah. over your right shoulder? Is there like a woman in the window, or no? There's a mirror there, in the middle oh. of these uh, two. Of these yeah. Two. Hold on a second. See, I can't. Oh, see. oh okay. I see the mirror, there. but in yeah. in the window yeah. itself, it looks like there's a dancer or a, no. Uh, it's just a light reflecting off of one thing or another. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it's a nice shot. I like the angle. Anyway, what happened last night was is that uh, uh, the the Zoom was set up wrong. Right. Uh, and it, usually what Zoom has to do is, as an output, have the 
panel who's talking go through the output. Well, somehow, in all the installation of this new equipment, that changed. Now, you mm. see, sometimes things, it's strange, but things kind of just change. Does that make sense? They just yeah, kind of like... Yeah, it does. Yeah. And, and wires get tangled. You know, I mean, I don't touch the wires under the desk, but if I ever have to move them, they're totally entangled. Yeah. There, there's some sort of uh, demon that gets under the desk that mixes right. mixes up all the wires. Well, the, and this had not, the wires weren't a problem. I had everything set okay. Yeah. And I went through everything. But I didn't think that Zoom would change anything. But apparently yeah. it did. You know, it was looking for a new, uh, 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 whatever. So yeah. finally, when we figured that out at like 1130 last night, I, I'm eager to you know to hear about your new uh, your new Mac Studio because uh, uh, by the way none of yeah. the, none of the problems were the new Mac Studio okay right. the pro I, yeah yeah I, and none of the problems I've had they they were kind of because I installed the Mac Studio but not because of the Mac Studio you get what I'm saying yeah it, uh, it, it uh, was uh, it was just uh, that I imagine. Uh, that uh, Zoom said, oh, here's a new output or something, so I better move it to something else. And it's it some wasn't... default or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then I, another thing is a thing I use called Handbrake. This is a strange one. It's called Handbrake. And Handbrake uh, is a program I use after the show to take what's called an MKV file and change it into an M4V file. Okay. Wow, this I'm is starting to get above my pay grade. Okay, but I'm, I'm changing <laughs> the type of file it is yeah. and how big those files are. Okay, I'm compressing it more. Yeah. And in the old thing, I just went to it, and it was there and everything like that. Well, I put in this new thing, and none of that works, and it's taking like, where before I used to take like 20 minutes to do the, 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 the rendering, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it used to take about 20 minutes. It was now taking 40 well, I, I was led to believe that your new studio uh, well, renders things finish. much faster well, than me, the... Let me, let me finish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I go to um, um, online just see if there's anybody griping about this thing. And there are a lot of people griping about it. Oh, Handbrake doesn't handle the new Mac chip, which is hmm. it's called the M1. M1 well, mine's, yeah. mine's an M1 Max. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and I can't get it working. So then somebody said, well, there's a new handbrake out. So I downloaded the new handbrake, and now it's rendering what used to render in 20 minutes in 10 minutes. That's what I figured yeah, yeah. Uh, that machine would do. Yeah. Oh, uh, you should, uh, I, you, it does some stuff amazingly fast. It is an incredible machine. I'm, I have no buyer's remorse on it at all. Yeah, well, with the Mac Mini that I used to have that you bought, uh, if I slid a Lightroom slider, uh -huh. it took a second or two for it to render the change. On the Mac Pro, it's almost instantaneous, but it's not. You know, and uh, it's amazing how spoiled we get that mm -hmm. we need that extra little bit of speed to. Uh, well, here's you know, what I recommend to people. I wouldn't recommend to somebody like yourself to go get a, you know, a studio. Um, yeah. I got it because I need that kind of power for what I do here every day. Okay. And you do video. Yeah. I, I've never I've never shot a video. But I had a Mac Mini with an M1 chip in it. That's damn fast. Man, yeah. it's it it cuts a cuts a hefty rug. A, a mean rug, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I've got a Mac Pro, the garbage can, yeah. and uh, I'm going to run it for a while longer. I, I don't see any reason to get rid of it. I had a beautiful, but I had a what I had here was a beautiful uh, Mac uh, monitor, Pro. twenty-seven inch monitor, beautiful. Oh yeah, been using it for years and years and years, maybe ten years old. So I decided to replace it with a new LG that I had here that's just like a thirty-two inch. So I yeah. got a nice big screen in front of me. Okay, uh, the bigger the screen, you know what they say. Uh, right. Anyway. So I, I got this new screen, and uh, I pulled the other one out and was going to move it over here. So I would have two, like, really large screens, because I have a smaller mm -hmm. screen over here. And all of a sudden, there's a line in the bottom of it. And I figure, well, maybe oh, it's... Oh, dead it's, pixel? No, it's just a line, fuzzy, gray, 
line. I can't, it's a kind of a grayness that went along the bottom. Huh. So I figured it was because I was try, I was using an adapter. I spent like 50 bucks trying to find the right adapter because it was one of those old, they call display port things, and I had to change yeah, it to DMI one, or I, something. I, I, I to, had to change it to a new ma uh, H, uh, yeah. uh, USB 3. Or, uh, yeah. yeah, USB 3. I don't know. Anyway, uh, USB C. Mm -hmm. So I did it, and I got that gray line. So I went back and I hooked up my old trash can, which you just pro plugged right into and worked fine with. And now right. it had a gray line. It seems that just by removing this computer from the system, it went wonky. You know, it just went crazy. The the, the display yeah, or the, the display Mac went, Pro? The display went, no, the display went bad. It did the wow. same problem that it did here with the new machine with the Mac Pro where before it had worked with the Mac Pro. Have you ever heard of a, a, a unit called an ISO or an ISO? What's that? Uh, it's a, a monitor uh, and it's a, an IP, IPS monitor. It gives you, it renders uh, the colors very, uh, very realistic for photography. Uh, it's called an okay. ISO. Yeah, I got what I need. ISO. Yeah. I bought this monitor. It's a great monitor for like under $300. It's an LG. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's a uh, high res, everything like that. And I, you know, I don't care about that. You know, yeah. I, I, go get your, your other thing. Or I, whatever. Well, I was thinking about getting a smaller monitor because I've got a 32 inch Dell and it's actually too big. Uh, and it, it makes it, it, you can't get close enough to it. And, uh, you know, my eyes aren't what they used to be. And yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, behind me, I got the warrior girls. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> anyway, so I so anyway, last night was, night was a major clusterfuck, and I think tonight we're okay. Nobody's writing and saying anything like, uh, "Let me see here." Nobody's writing. Period. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know it's going out, mm -hmm. and because I can see it on my phone, and that's uh, that's the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and it looks fine, and uh, I don't know. My face looks red all the time now. Um. Yeah, it could be the color balance. I, you know, the, that web cam uh, uh, software that you told me to download for the camera, mm -hmm. it, it, it isn't as accurate with color temperature as I would like. And uh, are you on auto color temperature or did you I set it? I don't know it? what I did. I don't know what I did. Um, yeah. Is it uh, auto? Uh, uh, let me see here. What is that? And Here, let me screw with stuff, folks, and then we'll be all. <laughs> you might as well. This is this is uh, time to test. Wait a minute. Uh, something will come up here. Watch. I yeah. don't want. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. So here is. Uh, let's see here. I don't put it on autofocus, and I don't have backlight uh, backlight compression on. And uh, then I went to. Uh, How about auto white balance? Wait a minute. In the back, let's see. Basic uh, uh, auto white balance. Uh, auto exposure mode, auto white balance. There we go. See if I turn this off. Watch, folks. Oh, really? Uh, I could I could change that a little bit. Then yeah, I could get rid and, of and the, just you know scoot it. Yeah, there you go. Well, I mean, not yet. Yeah, that. Well, it didn't stick. Didn't stick. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh well. Let me turn. Yeah, that's that's oh, what I was. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we that's what I was saying about the uh, that that, didn't need uh, that particular did we, software. Folks? We didn't need that, folks, did we? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, well was, uh, I, I tell you, the uh, my color my color changed a little bit since I started using. What's the brand name of that those lights that you have that I have? Uh, so it's with an E, I think. Um, they they yeah. make the background too. The Elgato. Elgato. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love the build of that uh, light, but uh, it changed it changed the color uh, in here because I also have a, an LED uh, with, I don't know, 900 bulbs or something. And uh, I bounce it off the wall and uh, that gave me a little more realistic color. Really? Uh, but anyway, so I mean, I you know, I, it's okay. I got to do a, a little more tweaking here. Oh, you know what? You have that red shirt on, and mm -hmm. I bet it's doing a color cast to your face. That could be. Yeah, that could be. But I'm wondering yeah. also why I'm getting. I'm not. Uh, 
the green screen isn't green screening as much, much as it should. Well, anyway, my green uh, my green screen screen. No, it's it's fine. Over here uh, on the side, it seems. Yeah. Right well, that could be you don't have enough light. No, I do have enough light. Yeah, yeah. and you're putting it on the green screen too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that makes that makes a difference. You but know, the, I remember a few years ago, you used to say, "Don't you dare get a green screen." <laughs> you know, you didn't you didn't want me or anyone else to to use a green well, screen. Well, no, I didn't want you to use it because it became annoying after a while. You know. Yeah. I mean, cuz some people go on they're constantly changing the picture throughout the show, and I'm going, "Jeez, you know, don't don't do that." You yeah. Know, some people Well, do. You, you got to get some videos and put those on behind you. I, I since I don't take any videos, I, I never I'm not in possession of any. Yeah. So anyway, I, I don't know why I'm I'm having problems with that. Uh, my uh, uh, my filters Color. Are, are not you know are not doing what they should be doing. My filter for for chroma yeah. key. Let me well, see here. I, I uh, are you running it through OBS or Zoom? Hmm? The chroma key. The Chrome Are you using I'm, Zoom? I'm running through OBS. Okay. Well, and, that's and supposed to be I, stronger I, than the Zoom one, and I'm using the Zoom. Yeah. I, I should be, uh, let's see, color spill reduction. No, that doesn't do it. Now, let me see here. I'm, I'm trying to clean stuff up, folks. Excuse mm -hmm. me while we tr do all this stuff, you know, uh, brightness. Um, there we go. There we go. You can change your contrast too. Maybe it's, that no, no, will do it. This is no. This has to do with my main picture. Oh. Okay. And it seems to be okay now. Let's just let it stay that way. See, here's what I'm talking about. You you won't see it, but this hmm. is the the picture that I'm worried about. It was getting a lot of. Oh, now it doesn't just seem to have no, any. It looks fine, uh, especially on yeah. on the YouTube yeah. Yeah. Uh, rendering. Anyway, so uh, this is what happens when you get new equipment. Everything, mm -hmm. everything changes. The whole game changes, and it's, yeah. it's not fun. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going uh, whale. I'm going to shoot whales on Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm driving down to Monterey on Saturday. Stay mm -hmm. overnight. Get up at o dark thirty and uh, get on the boat and go out and uh, photograph whales. Why don't you just go to England and shoot the Queen? That'd be shooting the whales. Ah ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Prince of Wales. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, uh, what, what, last night we really, that discussion last night was getting. Yeah, it, was, it was nice. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I wanted to tease the Tony thing in the first half hour to see if it would, you know, pump up a few more uh, listeners and, mm -hmm. and participants. Yeah. But uh, I had to, I had to, uh, I had to run with it because, uh, you know, Tony was prepared to do it and uh and i and i use the uh you know he wants to come out on the show uh, uh deal yeah and uh, and he wants to come out to you <laughs> so i think it, you know yeah. but then he comes out for trump yeah well anyway it was uh it was um uh how can i put it it was not uh it was a it was a fun show because uh you know you in, you encouraged tony to be a bad boy and, and, yes, I do. And so we, we you know. We well, were, if he's going to call me 300 times a day, I'm going to fuck with him, you know. <laughs> was he calling you 300 times a day on that deal? Well, maybe not 300. It, it could, uh, the audio calls might be 10 or 15, but I have them on silence, so I don't, I don't take them. I will call him back, mm -hmm. but uh, only once, uh, whereas, not you know. Not the 800 he, times he calls. Yeah, right. Okay. But anyway, yeah, I turned up the lights a little bit, and now it's... Yeah, it, it made a difference to the See, green I, screen. I get obsessed by this stuff, folks. Excuse me. You know you know what well, you said I, last night, which was interesting? Is that when we were that? having our troubles, the numbers really were jumping through the roof. I know. I know. I saw 114. Uh, you know, maybe there was a mistake where, where YouTube was... Where were you reading that number? Uh, I was. Uh, there were two YouTubes that you had posted during the show, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see, you know, how many is wa how many people are watching. Right now, there's 21 watching. Yeah. And uh, but so. on those other YouTubes, did you take them down? No, those other ones were ones I think you were reading the ones from the day before. No, uh, no, no, because uh -huh. it, I w it was my picture was on it. Yeah. 
uh, 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 along with yours. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it, it was labeled, you had a couple of them that were labeled 615 22. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I was seeing 85, and it jumped up but to 100. You know 100 what, ha- what happens, though, is that sometimes when there's a problem, people will stop and reboot and come back oh, and on. It's double and, counting? And, yeah, it, it double counts and everything. And so that's why when you have troubles like that, all of a sudden the numbers go crazy, and you go, oh, wow, maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should fuck up every night. Yeah, but well, I, I really apologize, folks, for last night because we were spending the whole show just well, trying to get I, I'm it. proud of you. I'm proud of you. You kept your cool. You didn't go crazy. You didn't throw everybody out. You didn't say, God damn it, there's not going to be a show. I can't do this. You stuck to it. You did what you had to do, and you got the show well, on. Something, I, something I've you learned. You be proud of yourself. Well, yeah, well something, yeah. Uh, although I am I currently I've been having lightheadedness and all this other stuff, and I kind of think, oh, you know, I, I can't handle this. You know, I, was, I actually got lightheaded at one point during that whole process. Well, that's but, reasonable. But, but Yeah, I guess it's reasonable. It's stressful, you know. Yeah, it's very stressful. But the one thing I've learned, and people, you should remember this in technology, if, because you all use technology now. Whether you want to say you're using, you know, you're not, I'm not into technology. Well, yes, you are. Isn't that a beautiful view out my window? It's actually. Yeah. The view out my that window. That is your view, huh? Yeah, yeah. Didn't know. No Photoshop there, folks. <laughs> but yeah. you know you want to put uh, in some of the panes mm-hmm. you want to put some photoshopped uh something you know like uh, uh you know uh, um, uh what do they call those gargoyles or uh nah, grotesques yeah. anyway, uh, anyways what, what looking they, in the window what, what was i saying oh yeah so the one oh, thing i think I, the one knowledge. piece of advice i have for anybody when your technology screws up it's all solvable you just got to find out what the problem is and the problem is you have to go through a process of elimination. Like I was doing everything over here with the control board, doing a process of elimination, and none of it was working. And then right. I said, well, what? maybe it's a Zoom. At the last minute, remember, I said, maybe it's Zoom. And I went and looked at Zoom, and sure enough, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Well, now, you know, my memory isn't what it used to be. Mm-hmm. So thank goodness for the iPhone. I take pictures. Uh, a, a guy that works for me, uh, if he takes apart something before he takes it apart, he takes a picture of it, and this way he knows how it goes back together. Mm-hmm. Do, well, do I look it, like I'm in a real room? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's, uh, that's an iPhone picture. Yeah, you know that's how good cameras have gotten today. I bought Marjorie when we were first married. I bought her a Nikon, and then I bought her another Nikon. It was like a 12 megapixel Nikon. You, you probably have one of those sitting around there somewhere. Well, I do. I have a D700 I use for underwater, yeah. and that's uh, 13 megapixels. Okay. Well, she but was this here. one's 47. Oh. This oh. is the brand new top of the line Nikon Z9. What is that? 47,000? No, 47 megapixels. Ma- 47 megapixels. So 47,000. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, what hers was was a 12. Okay. But well, wait a minute. Forty-seven megapixels is forty-seven thousand mega. Well, this was twelve megapixels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got her a twelve megapixel camera. It was a good camera, but you know something? This yeah. thing takes better pictures. Okay. Well, you know. Uh, they said this is a thirteen megapixel. I think this camera. takes sixteen megapixels, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, uh, the, that yours it takes a lot more than that, I think. Oh, really? But this one's this one's thirteen megapixels, and I've had it since two thousand ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, this I... one 40, 47 megapixels, and I sold two camera bodies, two pro camera bodies, to buy this. And uh, but this is this is the one that everybody's talking about. So I'll be shooting this on Sunday. And you know what you could do with that? You could actually shoot video with that. Oh, yeah. I can shoot 8.3K video with this. A lot of people that are shooting uh, video now uh, Mm -hmm. are shooting it using Nikon cameras or Canon cameras or whatever. Right. And they have uh, built-in ability to do video. And they would rather shoot with those than with, uh, you know, a, a... uh, video you know camera. why? Because of the lenses that you can that you can put on these things. Yes. You know, I, I have lenses from fourteen millimeter, mm-hmm. fifteen fisheye, fifty. But do you ever shoot video with that? Would you ever shoot video with yours? 
uh, you know something? I don't even know how to shoot video with it. <laughs> so, it's probably it's you know? a very simple thing. You just probably crank something. And oh yeah, there's there's a red button here, but that uh, and if you hit that red button, it'll record video. The only problem is I don't know what to do with the video once I record it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know how to use Lightroom, uh, Topaz, all these other plugins that I have for Lightroom, which is similar to. Uh, to Photoshop, but it's strictly for uh, photographers. But when it comes to what, what's the program you use from Adobe for your uh, video? Uh, well, I use every Adobe product there is. I have the whole suite every month. I pay fifty-five I, yeah, I bucks too. a 50 month. Fifty bucks for a it. month. Yeah. Which I that's kind of gets you kind of begin to wonder whether you should be doing that. You know. But well, anyway. I never use anything else other than well, Lightroom. I use I use I use Photoshop. I use uh, uh, audio, the audio program. Program. Uh, uh, I, you, Premiere, is that the one Premier, you use? I use Premiere. Right. I'll use Rush sometimes, which is just simply a cut and paste version of Premiere. Uh, yeah. But there are a whole bunch of them. Wait a minute, let me see if I, in case people are not interested in this, I don't know. Why yeah, I mean, well, if you, you bring up the suite, no, and wait, well, it'll show well, you all here, the programs. Here's, here's my, here's my no. suite. Wait a minute, I don't want this opening up. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I force quit. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, uh, let me see here. My uh, uh, Adobe uh, is, uh, I have, uh, uh, was it Rush, Premiere, Photoshop, Media Encoder, Adobe Lightroom, Dreamweaver, Animator, uh, Adobe Audition, and Adobe Acrobat, and that's just the stuff I've got installed. Well, the, because the there are only about another reason, 20 that I can install. The only reason that I pay the 50 or $55 a month, I could pay $10 a month and get Lightroom and Photoshop. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I need the Adobe Acrobat uh, that allows you to fill in uh, forms and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm paying. Well, here's the thing. Other. Here's the thing. I wish that uh, well, Adobe doesn't want to do this because they're all scumbags. Okay. Every yeah. one of them. Every, they're all robber barons because <laughs> this is kind of like you know a tv folks what are you paying for you're paying for maybe th two channels three channels at best that you watch okay yeah. and the Fox rest and bravo <laughs> yeah and the rest you're getting anyway whether you want right. it or not so you know like it, the most you know what the most money you pay for any single cable channel is for what cable channel it's that uh hallmark right no lifetime uh Lifetime, same thing. About nine dollars a month you're paying for lifetime. Wow. You know, because it's part of a package though. Well, we're in the wrong business. You know? Yeah, we're we should be robbing banks. But anyway, uh, well, I don't know if they're going to have any money soon. You know, every every YouTuber and his and his brother is talking about the crash. I think it's going to be a self fulfilling prophecy. You know, they're saying that the housing market's going to crash. Interest rates are going to go up. You're not going to be able to get food. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you better start uh, you know hoarding or or saving food and grain. Oh, and, uh, who was that I heard said they weren't? Um, um, oh, they well, there was something they didn't want to do because. The prices are, oh, they want to buy it today. A lot of people are buying stuff right now. Like, oh, maybe this Apple Do you, do you remember and when? The re limit, and the reason they're buying it is they're saying the price will probably go up on it, and I want to get it while the price is where, where it's at, even though it's higher than it used to be. Well, do you remember in the last, uh, in the eight, in early 80s, when uh, Jimmy Carter was president and mm -hmm. the inflation, I think, was around I know interest was around 18%, but inflation was was right up there too, maybe even higher. And that was the attitude of people. They were making purchases because they said, oh, it's it's gonna be more expensive in a, in, yeah. in a, in yeah. a week. And you know something? They're probably right at this point. Yeah, but you know, you know what? Everything's cyclical. It'll, no, it'll you go can back say, to you normal. You can say it's cyclical, but you know, maybe this is the new normal. We don't know. Uh, well, know? no, because we've been through this before. And and it and we were and they were able to correct it. So you know we're, we're just going to go through it again. I mean, these things happen. We've been through this before. Yeah, uh, when we had the high inflation and high, and high interest rates. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Get on the show here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, pull it. Pull your pants up, Alan. <laughs> no, I'm just talking to my roommate and talking about 
how <laughs> blind you are when it comes to talking about economics, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the housing prices are going to drop, food shortages, and all this. I, you this you is, don't this listen. Is the Republican playbook, Phil. You don't listen. I was quoting uh, a bunch of YouTubers that uh, say these things. Why don't you go to TikTok? It's a better place to get your news. Well, you know, maybe I'll see. And you when there. you flip it, you can see the news, and then you can flip it and see a woman flip it in again a bikini, and, see the news again. and then yeah. flip it again and see some guy diving off a cliff, and then see yeah. flip, it, flip it again. You know, I know. See Donald Trump diving off of a cliff. If he's as good as you say, he'll survive. Absolutely will. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, 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 they say that a lot of people are buying stuff. You'd think in, a, in an economy like this, people wouldn't be buying. But that some of them are going out and buying like crazy because they're thinking if they don't buy it now, like a car or something like that, the price is going to go even higher. Well, everybody I listen to says, hold on to your cash. Like I'm going out tomorrow and buying a pound of cherries because they may go up the next day. Well, just get them from Tony. He paid 15 bucks. Uh, he's it. not going to eat those cherries because they're too expensive. I love it. He's going to have them varnished. Yeah. You know, how can he how can he send you three hundred messages a day, Phil? He sends me two hundred and fifty. Well, he likes me better. But that's it. <laughs> well, I told him I know where he lives, and if he starts doing that to me, I'm coming out and I'm gonna kill him. Shotgun <laughs> yeah. texting is yeah. what the kids yeah. call it. Yeah. Hi Kevin, how you doing? All right, Alex, how you doing? Oh, okay. Oh. Well, happy uh, birthday, Kevin. Thank you. Oh, was it your birthday today? No, the other well, day. Yesterday when I tried to call in, but you were having all kinds of problems. <laughs> I tell you. And I'm sorry. You blew everybody off, so I said, okay, fine. What? What? Uh, well, I just wasn't answering a lot of the people who were coming in because I was too busy trying to solve the problem, you know? Well, I was, I was telling you what was really going on. You, you were telling me. I, I saw your things occasionally saying you don't have audio. You don't have. Now, now you have audio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, none of these other people, these people in our. Da, 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 I, I give up after da, a while because you get confused. In our chat, uh, we're yeah, so good about it. Oh, wait a minute. Let, so me, let, me, let me get rid of Phil's name. We don't have to have it up there. Right. You're really a masochist, aren't you, Phil? Two nights in a row. Well, I figured, look, he got robbed. I was thinking, I thought it was a rerun. He, he got robbed last night. You know, <laughs> he really did. I thought I got a break. How the hell's he getting robbed? I think you were very nice. And then, oh, you want to hear what happened yesterday? I did two interviews with Stephen Kravitz, right in the afternoon before last mm -hmm. night, and I go to set one up to play it tonight. No audio mm. because of the problem that we had from last night because I do it on, on on Zoom. So anyway, uh, you know, the first time you ever yelled at me was because of Stephen Kravitz. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. I, I went. I went to the. Go back uh, to your room, Phil. Yeah. No. What was What was the name of that comedy club on? It was on Chestnut or Lombard. Uh, Cobbs. Cobbs. Last house. Yeah, uh, Cobbs. I, I went to Cobbs one night, and he was at the door, and this was after I had done a little stint for you at Camel uh, to help you out uh, over the summer until you could get a regular guy. And he says to me, can you get me on Alex's show? Can you get me on Alex's show? And I, and you know, he was so aggressive. I said, no, let me see what I can do. Well, the next morning he shows up at the studio and he says, Phil said I can be on the show. <laughs> well, good, I'm glad he did. Cause I've always thought he was one of the best people we used to have on the air. You know, yeah. he's a great, well, he's a great, it's not interview, but there was a- You didn't let him on. <laughs> Why well, didn't you? Know. No, he yelled at me. You said, "Don't, don't you tell him he can be on the show." I said, "I didn't tell him." I said, "I'll see what I can well, do." Somehow we got to the point where I liked having him on, and he was yeah. a regular on the show. But, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, uh, anyway, so I recorded those two interviews, and they, 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 they were. I had to write him a letter today, say, "I'm sorry, you know, you spent an hour with me, and didn't, didn't happen." But I well, said, you can voice track his interview. Uh, what is what Alan? What does uh, Stephen Kravitz always say? The right, only words right, he says. Right, 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 right. I wish maybe I could find a lip reader. Yeah. Who could though? We could have run the interview, and then the lip reader could be saying what they're saying. 
You, you know, I bet you there's probably somebody that listens to yeah, your show. Yeah, but usually the problem can... is those lip readers are deaf, and they can't talk very well. Right. You know? yeah. Like, you know, Steve Kravitz Not will sound like... Them. Steve you, Kravitz you will people... sound like this. Yeah, you know? no, but you get people that their, their relatives, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers uh, mm -hmm. are deaf, and... Uh, no, but or, we don't or, need and... a signer. We don't need a signer. We need a lip reader. Yeah. I'm losing my hearing, and I started reading lips. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe I'm I, getting there. <laughs> maybe I could put up the uh, Steve Kravitz interview, and you could kind of uh, t tell us what we're saying. Alan and I have a friend right, that does right, sign right, language. Right. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that that's it. That's all you right. got to say. <laughs> right. Right. Who says right? Uh, Steve right. Kravitz. Kravitz. Right. Right. Does he really yeah, say? La last week you did your interview with him, and in that half hour. I counted like 680 times that he said right. Oh, that's no. like the guy that ple uh, that's like Eastwood or Eastman pleading the fifth 101 times or was it something like that? Yeah. That's well, he didn't say he didn't say fifth. right he didn't say fifth. right on these interviews I did yesterday because there was no sound. So you oh. know, he, no, but I go. I never noticed that he does that. You ready yeah. for that? Well, yeah. Just just loop the right. And then push the button every time yeah. you say something. You can run the interview. You just push the button, and he goes right. <laughs> he doesn't just say right. He'll go right, right, right. You know, like he's agreeing with you. It's yeah, not, no big deal. But it's just exactly. that's his claim to fame for me. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Well, you know, know, I've got my thing. I I understand. I understand. You know, so I I could say that. Well, and it, uh, I, okay. There there are things that we do. Uh, right. And I don't know how to describe them, but they're space fillers. Okay. That when you are trying to think of, of the next thing you're going to say, you say, you know. Yeah. And you know, the other person I understand. You know, you know. And, you don't want dead air. You know. Or there, right. are other, there are other terms other people use. And so years ago, I taught myself not to do those. I don't think you can say that I have one of those fillers. Well, if, if you listen to some of your earlier shows that you had me on uh, before, you know, just in the regular shows. Do I have to? Uh, no. no what, please, uh, no. what I had was a lot of ahs, you know, ah, ah, ah. So, and, and I wanted to break myself of that. Now, of course, I replaced it with I understand, but uh, that's at least a little bit you more can, intelligible. You can take those many times and replace them with something else. Either that, or say to yourself, every time I'm going to say, you know, all right, mm -hmm. just pause. Don't say anything. I love when people say that, when they're telling you a story. Oh, you know about this, and you know about that. And I'm like, no, I don't know. And they're like, huh? Faye, mm -hmm. Faye talks to her sister in Tagalog, and the, the word for you know in Tagalog is sabako. And every two seconds, it's Sabaco, Sabaco this, Sabaco that. And I know what that is. It's, you know. You, th you learned one you word know, in, in Tagalog. And now well, you, think you, can speak, you think too. you can speak the entire language. No, no. I, I, I have never had a desire well, to I, learn Tagalog. I had my wife, Susan, my yeah. ex-wife, Susan, uh, by the way, is still with us. Amazing, but she's still with us. If you talk to her, tell her I said hi. She is a. I always like pops her. up as a wannabe Facebook friend. You know, it's Facebook doing their thing, not her. No, uh, she, Susan I don't, I don't, Fine I, I, Silver. I, oh, maybe not. Susan maybe Susan Silver. Bennett. Oh, oh, yeah. Does, yeah. does she use Fine Silver or no, no, Bennett. Bennett. Bennett? But it, but it, she she doesn't have Facebook. Huh? Wait a minute. I'll, who, I'll, I'll go to Facebook. Hmm? Who was your? Oh, oh, maybe it was Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie well, Bennett. She well, can't friend you. She, she cannot friend you. But yeah. I understand. She's and don't be upset play. by that. <laughs> but uh, and if she does, you're in trouble. <laughs> were you thinking of Ronnie Bennett? Yeah, that's the name that keeps. You know, the, the, you know, Facebook says, "Do you want to friend all these people because they're friends of friends?" And. You know, and, and Ronnie Bennett has popped up several times. And she's been dead. I know, that she, I know she's dead. I know she passed away. She was your wife. So, obviously, I don't friend her. So I'm not going to see much in her timeline. But Well, she's my you know. ex-wife. She wasn't my wife. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's there the is a difference. There is a difference because if you say, "Well, I heard that you're," you know, okay. remember you? She she's died. She died. She was your wife. And everybody goes, "Oh my God!" You know, uh, um, the, what's she's my dead, latest right? wife's Wait name? Till we Marjorie. tell Marjorie, she's gonna go. She's gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> so she's dead, right? Who Marjorie? Passed away. Not Marjorie. I don't know. I said passed away four times. He didn't. Say every anything. now and then, in the middle of the night, if she's sleeping too soundly, I kind of nudge her a little bit to make sure she didn't die in her sleep. You Not know? Marjorie. Yeah. Yeah. You, know. uh, you know, every morning now I get know, up and I know? say, I made it through another one. You know, and you know the the sun is shining. Now wetting the bed. Uh, well, no, that I, not always, but uh, you know, it's it's interesting that now I count the days, and I'm just so pleased that I get up in the morning and and I'm not dead. Well, the latest thing we're trying, Marjorie is is, impar- par- is imploring me to try, yeah, to, for my lightheadedness and everything, is uh, electrolytes. Yeah, you think you're dehydrated? I could very well be. I need electrolytes. I take them uh, every if day you now. pinch, and if, you it, pinch it, your, it, if you pinch your knuckle and the skin stays pinched, you are dehydrated. So you, you just pinch the knuckle. Yeah, yeah, it stays and, pinched. And if it stays up, look, look at that. Fo- Wait a minute, where is it here? Uh, there we yeah. go. See? Okay, you're dehydrated. Oh, all well, right. we uh, we all can do that. And I've been drinking water all day long. Well, so you know, so if I, well, you can do it a little bit, but for people that are dehydrated, it really stays up there and it gets real. So, much so the best, the best way. You know, I'm from, staying up there a little bit. Yeah. From, from non Doctor Allen, the best way to check your hydration. No, non Doctor Allen. Here we go. Hey, this is Phil's medical I was minute. Just waiting That's for right. it. <laughs> it is it is if you urinate and it doesn't come out dark and you're urinating on a regular basis, you're you're. You're hydrated enough. Well, you're hydrated enough that you're not going to faint, but you, you definitely, you definitely want to take in more water than you think you need. Absolutely, urinating all the time is good for you. Yeah, At wonder, the gym, I wonder, I wonder how this show would sound if I was like 30 years younger. Uh, you know? Just right, speed, right, speed right, up right. your, oh. just speed it up on YouTube when uh, you know when you post it. Speed up your voice a little, and that might make it sound that. One way. of my bulbs is out over here. Echo, turn on candles. Oh, no, it went on. Okay, there we go. God, and, 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 and I have. It, by the way, I have. Younger. I have everything in here practically now. Where I turn it's it like on. Like the Jetsons. It's well. You remember you used to have the clapper. We no longer have the oh, clapper yeah. anymore. You just say uh, Alexa. You know, and, yeah, and Alan, Alan gets the clap. Oh, that that's that, that's I, I, so funny. My I, mother has one of those. You know, to turn the lights on across the I room can and turn on, I the can, other day. I just got a new air conditioner. I can turn on the air conditioner while I'm out uh, outside going From out. From Alexa? You, you know, I come home and it'll be on. Well, I can also just turn it on here by saying, well, I don't say Alexa. I say the other word, but Alexa, turn on the air conditioner. And next thing you know, the air conditioner goes on. Now everybody that's listening to you has their air conditioner on. Y- yes. Whether they wanted it yes. or not. <laughs> I don't own Alexa, so mine didn't turn on. So I'll tell you something, Marjorie. When I first got an uh, an uh, a, a, well, they're not called. They're called. See, the thing is, I she was that Amazon the thing. Amazon the Amazon thing. thing that happens when you yell into a canyon. Okay, uh, and and when I first got the first one, she went, "What do you want that for?" Another toy, and then I got another one. And another one. We have one in the kitchen. We have one in the living room. We have one in the bedroom. We have one in the guest room. I have one here. Okay. She said, why are you getting all those? And then all of a sudden now I hear her going, uh, Alexa, turn on the, the oven. Alexa, turn on the lights in the pantry. Alexa, do this. Alexa, do that. And uh, I go, you'd miss that, wouldn't you? You know, it's like, like something out of the Jetsons. I even hooked up my garage door. Does wow. it open your garage door? Yeah, I got a little module that hooks up to it, and you connect it up to it. And, and they now have the one that flushes the toilet for you. Shut the garage door. In the bathroom, you can get off the toilet and say, Alexa, flush the toilet. 
you know, my That's old a house. Bit lazy. That's a bit lazy because you're right there where the knob is. You know, I don't have it. My, but it's not advertised. In yeah. in my old house for my motorcycle, if you if you flip the uh, the the blinkers, it would open the garage door. So you'd pull up, and if you were about six, eight, ten feet from the garage door, you just flip the uh, you flip the blinkers on the Harley, and the garage door would open. Uh, that wow. that was that was a nice thing because trying to well I'll tell you the other yeah, thing trying to find it I yeah. get I gave her I, you know I bought an Apple Watch and she gave me a bad why do you need an Apple Watch for what do you need that for yeah. and then when I got this new bigger one I gave her my older one she got so used to it that the yeah. other day she had to take it down to the Apple Store to get a battery new battery put in it. And they had to they had to send it away. They said it may be seven to ten days. Wow. She is going nuts not having that watch, right? And she basically uses it for when she walks. She starts the the thing going so she knows how far she's walked and you know how much how many calories she. She loves that watch. She uses it. But you know what happens is we get really used and wedded to this technology, and uh, it's a. You know she's she's she loves Alexa and she loves her Apple Watch, but these are all things she hated in the beginning. I don't want to wear that. You know you got to charge it every night. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, when they start making the Apple Watches so that they weigh a little bit more and they're a little more substantial, right mm -hmm. now they just feel like plastic, and I don't like wearing it. I don't no, want one. This either. is this is because it's, it's fairly it's not unsubstantial. This is a citizen. It's thick. It's heavy. I can feel it when it's on my arm. Yeah, but yeah. this is fine. It weighs as fine. much as my Rolex that I never wear. This is fine, well, you know. Plus, this is a plus, divers watch. plus with this they one, it'll go 200 meters. I can leave my Apple iPhone home, walk mm -hmm. down the street, and give you a call, Phil, because it's got cellular in it. But why would you want to? Well, I don't know if I, I want money, go. but all I'm saying is, I, if I if I forget my iPhone, this thing still works, still does everything yeah. it has to do. How about a mile from your house? No, and he's got a cellular phone. It's it's, it's a, a regular. No, cellular I could go. To, I go. I could go to full, iPhone at home. I, I what? You said if you left your iPhone at home, mm -hmm. so you and and just had your watch, your Apple watch. If I went out, at, if I went out and I didn't have my Apple phone. I could make all, have all the functions. What, my what Alan doesn't does. know is you I have could, cellular on your watch. That's yeah. what I'm asking. Yes, I have cellular on the watch. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that that was capable. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and and, I'm so and, behind and, in technology. and uh, I can you know I can put my earphones on, hook my YouTube up to YouTube, you, Bluetooth up to the uh, up to the uh, watch, and listen to all my tunes you know off the uh, off the cloud. How about your front door? You got your front door hooked up to the. No, Alexa? you know why I haven't? Because we don't. Why? Why my front door? You know, he's on the eighth mine. floor. And then if I if I get locked out, I can go my watch and. and push I'm the on the eighth button. floor, and there are only three people that come in <clears throat> in here: us and two other people. Uh, it's nice though, when you got a handful of groceries, and you walk up to your door, and it's open. You just put your elbow on. Well, this in. that wouldn't happen. I I have to I have to have a heavy duty locks in this neighborhood. Or a hot coffee. You turn your wrist upside down, dump the coffee over, and push the button on the watch. Yeah, I like well, asking no, Alan what you can what do time is, it is you do that when he's you drinking go, coffee. You go whoops, and they go, "I can order another coffee." Well, I yeah. when, whenever I see Alan. I always ask him what time it is when he's drinking coffee so he spills it on himself. But what yeah. I, I think is amazing is this whole concept of getting you so used to something you can't live without it. Yeah. You know. Well, look what happens when the internet goes down. Or, you know, let's say you have AT&T or Verizon and, Everybody goes uh, and, nuts. And, and the service goes down and it has. What day you know, was it? Was, it? was there a day that Facebook went down or that? Uh, that uh, you, yeah, and they all no, go the, down eventually. Amazon got, went down or something, and everybody's yeah. going. They just uh, I, Amazon was down the other day. Yeah, because I went to dirt certain pages and they said we cannot access this page at this time, but for everything that I clicked on. Well, I process credit cards at the store through uh, you know the 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 phone line, which is voice over IP. And if Verizon goes down, I have no phones. 
Uh, I can't process credit cards. That's right. I can't mm -hmm. get into my accounting system because it's on the cloud. Well, do you realize? Do you realize how some real good hackers could completely immobilize this country? And you know something? You would think that. Oh, our government's ready for that. We've taken no, all the not. precautions no. against it. No, they haven't. No, no it's no. Uh, quite vulnerable. Look, yeah. look in Texas uh, at last winter when the uh, when the grid went down. Yep. Yeah, I believe that had something to do. Well, it was ice, but yeah, it was uh, Texas too. So. Yeah, but they well they didn't expect it. But uh, you know we can be hacked. Look what they're doing in the Ukraine well, you, right you now. Think Russia. About, but you think about all those things back in 1950. Yeah. Okay. We weren't that vulnerable to that sort of no, thing. No, I had an adding machine. You pulled a crank. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, maybe the phone system in your part of town went down. You know. But I mean, here you could literally immobilize. I mean, if somebody, if somebody goes after Facebook tomorrow, or somebody yeah. goes after Amazon, you know, Amazon is the number one seller of, of goods stuff. in this country. If, if you well, if you close that down, world. not only not only would people go, be insecure because they couldn't buy online. How's the Warriors game doing? Uh, minute rough. left to go. One hundred one eighty eight. Uh, oh, a minute uh, left. Let's warriors see. ahead. A minute yeah. left. So we're two warriors minutes away from ahead. hearing from Brian. <laughs> yeah, well, you may not hear from them if they win, too. Oh, oh, by yeah. the way, Russia, I heard in the news that Russia took over the Internet in Ukraine. Uh, yeah, Everybody it was either yesterday or today. I didn't well, hear they've been that. constantly fighting that for the last, since before the war started. Yeah, but they if, you they know. They're constantly fighting the threats. But I guess uh, Elon Musk has a thing called Starnet. Sky, uh, Sky, 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 Skynet. Sky, and, no, Sky, uh, no, something else. Sky it's Link. Starnet. Skylink. You're right on the first time. Star, Starnet. 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 Uh, Starnet. Yeah, well, wait a minute. I think it's called Skylink. Oh, maybe Sky it's called Ski, uh, Skylink. Ch well, Check you know, out. that would be uh, a backup system for what we have now, uh, or unless you need the Internet to be able to access it. Yeah. It, only people like you can afford it, though. It's like six hundred dollars. Okay, it's Star. Club. It's uh, it looks like it's Starlink. Let me see here. It's yeah, like six hundred dollars. Starlink. Month. Starlink. Yeah. What? what well, right now it's six hundred a month because you got seven people using it. But when you get you know millions of people, no, I don't it, think it costs that much a month. I don't believe. It's pretty expensive. Whatever. Friend of mine is. had a satellite phone and it was almost but that much Musk, a month. Must did was he purposely. Uh, deposited some satellites right over the Ukraine so they would have communications. Wow. Well, it's actually, they're actually spinning, you know, as the Earth revolves, satellites, and so these are no, satellite No, they're not, dishes. they don't spin. They, they don't orbit? Well, the, no, the they, they orbit. orbit, they orbit, but they're in a geostationary orbit. In other words, they go up and they stay in one place over the Earth all the time. Okay, but these these little antennas that he gave the Ukraine, the Starlink or whatever it's mm -hmm. called, are basically satellite dishes. Yeah, that's I know. Yeah, and, and you can get your internet off that if you want to spend the money. It's great for somebody that likes to go off the grid with camping out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me let me go over to yeah. Star, how much is Star, it a month? Starlink is it? Yeah, Star yeah. Starlink. I love your Starlink. Let me see here, <laughs> uh, Starlink. Okay, uh, residential. Uh, and it, it's no way to go there and find out. It says order now, but it doesn't say what the prices are. Well, order it and don't put your credit card in. Well, wait, Maybe no, 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 hold on a second. Here, I can do this. How much does start? One hundred thirty-five dollars a month. Oh. There you go. All I all, all did was Google Starlink cost. Yeah. Now, how fast is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Twenty-five dollar portability monthly fee. Yeah. Uh, how much does Starlink installation cost? That's a hundred and ten a month, and with the equipment price rising to five ninety nine as well. Okay, and if you deposit the original uh, four ninety nine uh, price, you'll pay five forty nine. Warriors win. Okay. A new Starlink business service tier, which costs 500 a month plus. 
doesn't say how Starlink much. Starlink service, five, six hundred dollars a no, month. No, no, ninety nine a month. Okay. I'm you have to buy your own satellite. I'm get well, one. You have a four ninety nine upfront cost. No big deal. Yeah. Phil, uh, and Phil I think that, that I think that includes the dish. He buys yeah. a gun at full price and then spends another five times that on customizing it. Right. Right. So you'll have a Starlink in the store in a couple of weeks. But uh, that's a, that's what. But Starlink is. Uh, he's literally put up a ring of satellites up there. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 And um, that, well, the, the, that's the good news. The bad news is it's more clutter up there. Do you know how much clutter is up there? Yeah, there's a lot of space garbage. You know, uh, somebody. Somebody was going up there and cleaning that up, but I can't remember who was doing it. I think Musk had a plan for cleaning it up. Maybe you want to get a GabNet satellite yourself. Yeah, right. You know, that's how a lot of those evangelists started, uh, was with uh, satellite uplinks. Uh, I, I used to watch this guy, Dr. Gene Scott. You remember Dr. Gene Scott? He had great hair. Drink. But the you're wrong about that in a way. Yeah. Uh, the sure. first one ever to buy a satellite transponder full yeah. time, uh, and he was way ahead of his time, was Pat, uh, was, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Robinson? Uh, you know, the, what do you call it? Ten, oh, no, the ten, guy that got, the, that got Baker, caught up Jim in Baker. that timeshare Jim, thing. Jim, no, it, Jim Baker. Jim Baker, yeah. He yeah. built something and sold 130% of it. Yeah. <laughs> The Tammy Baker. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it was in North Carolina or something. He built a resort yeah, with timeshares and sold he had, 130% he, he of the timeshares. But he was, he, he, I don't think he was a crook. The people around him were. That was the problem. Um, there were people literally going, and they, you know, a lot of people would send in cash. And yeah. they would have these cash rooms, and people would just go in there and put money, stuff money in their pockets. And he, you know, he had better things to do than watch out for what was going on in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, you know, the, the county. The entertainment room. part. Yeah. Who so, Tammy was dating. So the yeah, but, Warriors won. Yeah. And San Francisco police just put out a thing saying, we will not tolerate violence. We are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But they won't arrest you either. Yeah. What? Right. The, what, and and if you're a drug addict, they'll, they'll give you the needle. <laughs> and, well, and, and if you murder somebody in the process, five days in jail and you're out. No, 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 no. No and, bail. And then you, can, then you can buy a gun. Sounds That's like right. uh, Fourth of July down here. We're 90 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. We live in a society where people take uh, winning worse than they take losing. Well, it's you know. not that it's worse. They feel like they're a part of it. They identify with these teams. And uh, yeah, but why, you, when they you, win, do you suddenly decide, well, let's burn down that building? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. You remember, you know, you see the Raiders, and you'd look on one side of the field, and the fans would. It was called the the dead hole or something. Uh, and and black and the hole, fans, black hole, and and the fans would just go wild. You know, but. They, you know, these are people that work all week, wear a suit, and then they and they go there and they dress up like uh, turnips. Yeah. Well, I, I have a question. I know the answer to it. Phil, you said your phone has voice over IP. What does that stand for? VoIP. Uh, Wait a minute. Let Phil answer. He it's said a, his phone it's voice over the internet protocol. You got it. Okay. And do you Hello. know what that means? Thought you had him. Yeah, I thought I had him. Yeah, take a drink he there. He doesn't anyway. look that smart, so uh, sorry. No, nobody uses VoIP much anymore, do they? No. Uh, oh, no. Well, all business, uh, many, many businesses are using it now. Uh, all it, there is now, practically. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, mine had gone down several times. And even though I pay for much faster speeds, uh, I don't see any benefit to it. It still stinks. You're, you know what? You know what they tore down two weeks ago here. I think it was in Times Square somewhere. Oh, wow. The the last phone booth. Wow. Oh, no. There are no more phone booths, folks. 
Well, Elon Musk will probably use that Skylink and he'll find a way that you can put change in it so you can make a phone call from a booth. Well, so Alex, your your iPhone, like Phil's and mine, you can set it up to go make phone calls and text messages now over the internet. If you're like at home right. and your phone is yeah. on, right, that's, that's voice over internet protocol in action. What? You're, you're dialing your phone or sending a text over the internet versus over data versus over, so that that is voice over internet protocol. No, I don't think it's the same thing as VoIP. Okay. I think VoIP is where you- send, Jeff had but, his hand up, I think he knows. If, if, Jeff? Uh, I use a, a regular phone Yeah. to measure my pacemaker and sending the information over to my cardiologist. Right. That's my CPAP. So daily good. basis, totally digital information. Yeah, but what, what, what hap happens with VoIP is VoIP is a way of, uh, for instance, my phone's here uh, that I'm forced to take by my cable company. You know, Well, you know, you're getting our, our, your uh, local telephone service with it. Uh, but, but it's your 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 it's phone, VoIP, but it's void. It is void, yeah. yeah. Uh, because when in the old days, when you used uh, copper cables for landlines, mm -hmm. you only uh, I used to get like three hundred baud. That was the speed that you're getting uh, you, approximately now. What bubbles is getting? <laughs> yeah, but three hundred baud. Bubble, bubbles it, still has dial up. He well, still. I hears used that. to have a. I had a no telex. Way. I had a telex when well, I was remember working the, internationally. You remember the sound it made, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and you put the yeah, phone yeah. on a coupler. Yeah. Yeah, you, you put the phone on uh, the, the receiver, uh, the old Western Bell receiver on a coupler. Oh, in a coupler, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it was uh, 300 baud. And uh, so you'd sit there, you'd type a message, and you, you had paper, thermal paper. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, and I used to send my orders in on that uh, to Europe. Yeah. You can still get that service, but it costs more. That's why everybody goes I used to, to In 1982, maybe, I was paying uh, $25 a month to Western Union. Wow. Yeah, I, I think... Hear uh, fireworks it, going off here, too, the, Kevin. Huh? I hear fireworks going uh, off here, too. And I'm I'm 45 miles away. So by the way, you've been joined by uh, by a bathtub. <laughs> bathtub, Brian. Oh, there's Sigmund. bathtub. Our our AC guy. Hey, you remember me? That's nice. I, I, you know, when I was a youngster, I worked on heating and air conditioning. Oh uh, well, then you're my spirit animal. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. God oh, bless. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're in Australia, right? No, sure. Uh, South Jersey, Australia. Same uh, shit, same right? thing, right? Yeah. yeah. When Very Alan true. worked on HVAC, it was a fan, and and they used to Cleopatra stood there, and he had a fanner with this uh, fig leaf. That was the HVAC he worked on. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, bathtub? I'm doing very well. You know, I I always love when I just I'm scrolling through YouTube, and then because I'm subscribed, it just pops right up, and there you are, and. Uh, it's it's nice because I <clears throat> oftentimes I miss I miss your guys uh, broadcast, but so do it's, I. It's, it's nice to catch it. God bless you. I love you. God, you know. Yeah. So yeah, well, we we thank you for calling. How's everything? Were you up in your neck of the woods? Very busy, working like an asshole. Um, you know, oh, getting like them It's yeah, hot no, right now in Jersey, right? Uh, it's hot. Yeah. yeah, that's when everybody's uh, air conditioner breaks. That's exactly right. So yeah, you know, we live in a really old building. We live in a building that's 120 years old, 122 years old, and uh, it's really, really old. Uh, How old is it? But so, but, <laughs> but when I put in air conditioning, it just is a thing you put in the window and let it cool you off. If you but, had central but, air, well, wait a 120 minute. years ago. Hold on a second. Let me finish what I was going to say. However, Diana Ross's daughter, who lives in this building, has a shitload of money, I guess, and completely redesigned her apartment and cleaned it, fixed it up, and made it into this gigantic palace, as it were. 
And she put in central air conditioning. She got to put an air conditioner on the roof, and they ran it in. I guess you can do that, right, even in the oldest split buildings. Split system. Huh? Mm -hmm. A split system. What's a split system? No, no, no. He's, she's probably got one of those package units on the roof, yeah. heat and air. Maybe. I think she does, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I've got at the store. I've got two of them. Uh, uh, 10,000 Why am I pounds. listening to you guys? We have an expert here. Oh, I, yeah, I just had to pay minute, for a new minute, unit. Hold on a second. <laughs> what were we going to say? Uh, no, I mean, there's a handful of ways. Like, you could have a commercial unit with, uh, with uh, AV valves where every thermostat opens up a... Uh, like a zone or uh, it, there's too much to get into we're not going to talk about right, that i right. mean unless you want to like no, really no, I, break I, it down. I don't i don't think you want to talk business yeah it's so what you have central air now is that what you're saying no to no me? no i don't have central air diana ross's daughter does oh. and, and and phil does it at his store yeah and, and and recently he the capacitor went out and he said just replace it the whole air conditioner no nah, it wasn't the capacitor the air conditioner went out it cost me eight thousand bucks they had to use a crane to put it on the roof that's and, all for that's all it cost for the air conditioner that's pretty uh, cheap. yeah well uh, there were guys that wanted 30 and I, this guy was eight and it works fine to pay for central air in my house and a new heater, which has the same blower. I'm sure Brian doesn't want to he hear this. I don't think he came well, here. No, to hear the it. reason I, I got it, the reason I, I got it for eight was we probably stole it from the store down the street. <laughs> yeah, fell off a truck. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, I don't mind talking business. I'm, I, you know, I, I just didn't want to get into the semantics of things. Um, yeah, it, what's funny when you talk about a capacitor. You know, if you Google what a capacitor costs, you know, it's like $20. Right. So what we have, what I have done and, you know, is start renaming everything. So what a capacitor does, it, it, it jump, it sort of jump starts a unit. It creates an extra phase in the electrical current coming through because none of these motors can start on their own. So, um, instead of calling something a capacitor i sell people because it's one of the more common air conditioning repairs i i sell them phase inducers which <laughs> try googling that and I, you're not you're not going to have a problem with it and it's kind of a comical thing because you know we have a labor rate but the labor rate is suppressed it's not the true labor rate and we have to hide it in our materials but you know, in a world where people it sounds, make it sounds like some kind of drug, a phase inducer. Yeah, phase inducer. Yeah, it's and, like a flux but, capacitor. Yeah. But in a world where people make fifteen to twenty bucks an hour, and 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 then they see that you you charge eighty bucks to come out, they expect you you know, they expect you to be driving out of their their driveway with a Mercedes. And the truth is, with overhead and all, it's like follow me home. You can see how I live. Yeah, it's it's it, you know, it's hard. So, you know, but you're battling the internet, and the internet is a it, it's a hard tool. So, we've renamed almost every single item. So, you can try googling it, and you'll just hit a stone wall. So, Brian, to get to, if a, if if in my home unit, if if the if the capacitor fails, I just change it. I don't know how to do that. But if you call a heating and air conditioning company. They put one of those twenty dollar start run capacitors in there, mm -hmm. and charge three hundred and fifty dollars. Well, I, I I like what Brian was saying. Compare with you guys. I I, I, know, I, I I know I don't know about the rest of the audience, but I'm getting drowsy. Well, I really you know, you take some water. Uh, well, three hundred and fifty dollars is more akin to the truck wrap companies, the guys who use flat rate like around here and i live in i live in new jersey and new jersey it's mafia it's all about, it's all about cost of living um like in princeton they you know it's 200 dollars to get a guy to knock on your door but down in south jersey it's like 80 bucks so <laughs> you know keep that in mind but i think, it's, I think in south jersey i think in south jersey for 350 bucks you can get a guy killed yeah <laughs> well less 35 <laughs> 
I, I did uh, uh, several years ago. I did the uh, the terminal two at the Oakland airport, and there was a facilities manager watching what we were doing. We were doing all the jetways that go from the plane to the gate. There was like twelve jetways, and uh, we had to do it in the middle of the night when no planes were coming in. And so, uh, when I bid the job, it was warm. When we did the job, it was freezing, and all the wind was coming in off the bay, and we couldn't get the glue to dry. Uh, it was a double stick installation. So uh, I ran back to the store at two in the morning, and I picked up this uh, fifty thousand BTU uh, 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 heater and uh, uh, portable heater it ran on kerosene. And so the the guy who was the facilities manager says, "What what is that? What is that?" And my installer says, it's a Binford 2000. Now, if you remember the, the tool time show, everything right. was a Binford tool. So anyway, the guy's writing down Binford 2000 because he was he, he was writing down everything I was doing so that they could, you know, if they had to get somebody else to, to do Terminal 1 and Terminal 3, uh, you know, he, he had it. So Binford 2000. <laughs> and so when Brian was saying that he, you know, had everybody this just just wake me up when we have about two minutes left. Okay, okay uh, no problem. So oh, it, Brian, it, it, HVAC guys around here, journeymen, are making between sixty and seventy-five dollars an hour. Yeah, I live in San Francisco Bay Area. So if you are a journeyman, maybe it's time to come out here. They're always looking for people. Or become a carpet installer. You can make more than that. There you go. Do you make a That's... decent living, Brian? I, I um, someone, a, a buddy of mine just, just, just emailed me, and he wanted to know he's retired of the trade, old friends, and he said, uh, he said, what is your hourly rate? And I said, I said to him, what the customer thinks, it's eighty dollars. What the actual hourly rate is, a hundred and fifty plus. And he said, well, how, how do you reconcile that? And I said, it's in the materials. It's in, sure. it's in, you charge you know, more for materials. Yeah, there's a Get markup. Get a 20-hour capacitor and charge 150 for it. Yeah, by the way, $350 for a capacitor. I mean, unless you're living in New York City or something, I, I mean, I, I, that's a little high. San Francisco, but I, I just go down to the, to the store and buy a $20 capacitor and change it myself. But yeah, Sure, sure. But it, not it's, everybody it, can do that. Like Phil yeah, yeah. And, and and by the way, it's 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 in in an eight hour day, I have maybe four and a half hours of billable time because you're running and buying parts and going from house to house. It's really hard to explain that to people. It, you don't want to get into those weeds with people because they don't Plus understand it's, those. It's right. six bucks a gallon to run your uh, uh, six bucks a gallon to buy fuel for your truck. You know. <laughs> You know, and can I kind of bring it? Let's get it away from, you know. Sorry. This. Uh, let's talk about bathtubs. No, no. The one thing that I was that I was thinking about is that there are two things that people are crying over. Okay. One is the cost of food. All right. That's over here, and the cost of gas. Now, when we talk about something we can't live without, a car, you're willing to, to sell the baby to put gas in, in, in your New tank? York, you don't need a car. In California, in the Bay Area, hey, if you don't, you don't have you a don't, car, you you're dead to, in the water. You don't have to tell me that. I live there. I know that. I know that I could not live without a car right now. But, you I mean, when people... Car, but... But, but what I'm saying is is that when all of a sudden we're crying that, you know, we can't feed our family because we have to buy gas. And I'm going, you know, that shouldn't have to be a priority. It just yeah, shouldn't, it shouldn't have, have to, be. to be. But gas is up $1.40 a gallon. I know, and if you, Phil. We know that. We've read about you know, it. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, it's affecting families, you know, five to $900 a month. Yeah, yeah, but so he's very right when somebody when he comes into him and says I'm going to charge you 300 150 bucks to show up and look at your situation. Uh and he's got to make a living too. He's got to buy those $15 a pound cherries too, you know. Um they're not as ready to spend the money on that. You know, unless it's the middle of summer and it's really hot and they need that air conditioner to start working. Yeah, they'll they'll spend it on you got them by the balls, so to speak unfortunately 
But I mean, the fact that gas has become such a commodity, I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing you can drink, it's nothing you can eat, it's nothing that puts food on your table, just somebody gets you from one place to another. I mean, how are you doing it, uh, 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 Kevin? I mean, out there? I mean, gas must be, because you have, don't you have, no, you don't have it. Do you have a diesel? Yeah. How much is diesel? It's more expensive than gas right yeah. now. I mean, it's how seven, is seven to, something so, a gallon out here? Almost, I, I can find it for six seventy, six fifty sometimes. Holy moly. I yeah. love it when they say, you know, the price of gas is about five dollars and five cents today. Oh, we don't a gallon. Average. And in California, people oh, go uh, go. Oh, good, it's gone down. No, <laughs> no that's the national it. average. Yeah. That's the national average. Right. Yep, yep. We're the high end of the average. In the yeah, in the Bay Area, we are definitely paying six fifty a gallon for regular unleaded on up. Yeah. Yep. Now, how many of you, we said this the other night, how many of you think this is uh, the gas companies gouging us? I don't think so. Oh, they uh, are, yes. Are, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, Biden uh, said that that was the case, and he just got a letter from an, uh, the uh, head of Exxon uh, excoriating ex 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 him. Excoriating him. Excoriating him uh, for, for saying that because uh, they used to be able to frack. They used to, uh, and they said that it takes like a year. Uh, if you have a lease, it could take a what year. What does fracking you... have to do with gasoline? Well, they stopped it. Fracking uh, is. Shore, am I wrong? Trump, wait, wait, wait. Trump stopped wait, it. No, right. no, Trump yeah. didn't wait, stop wait it. Wait a minute. Isn't fracking natural gas? No. Uh, well, not, you you no. wind up with some natural gas just just from uh, uh, from drilling for oil. No. Uh, they, no. No. Well, okay. Kevin, yeah, they, they have Kevin, a pipe. That Kevin, gets rid of the... Ke listen to Kevin. What, Kevin? No, you don't get natural gas from gas. You you go for gas when you're drilling for gas. You get gas. You go for natural gas. You're going for natural gas. Well, why right. why do they say they have to put a pipe in to off to to let to get rid of the gas it's when venting. they're drilling? Oh, they're venting. It's venting okay. the vapors. Oh, okay. That's when Phil is around. There's a lot of that. But wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I, I somewhere heard a, or a associated fracking with natural gas. Do they no, use fracking? fracking you're going down into the ground and you're pulling liquid out of the ground with liquid. You're right. forcing liquid down to pull the liquid out, which creates a cavity, which creates an empty space, which creates a big hole to drop, you know, that causes a big hole that causes things to drop That's so kevin what what is side drilling and by uh, the way they... by the way phil once again don't blame Tr biden for everything he's only been president I didn't blame him i just he's, said he's, that he's this been is, a president you know, for a year and, and a half fracking has been fought for years right was, what, what is what is the side drilling there was being fought before trump was there it, 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 the yeah. side, drill, the the side, the side wait, hold on a second the side drilling you're talking about is done in other countries that want to steal oil from another country. They well, that that happened to take place in Kuwait and Iran, no Iraq. Yeah. But uh, it but doesn't have anything to do with the prices. Yeah, but they're not allowing that either. Uh, and well, I believe that they do it in the in the U.S. Don't they? If you're I, if your dentist did a better job at side drilling, your your ground gold crown wouldn't have fallen out of your mouth bill they don't side drill to do a uh to to uh, to, oh, uh, to do that this kind going? of thing this joking is... i'm joking jesus i'm bro. sorry you had to see all this going down bathtub Ke uh, uh, <laughs> Brian. Kevin, yeah. well you know talking about new jersey jeff you you lived in new york in the 60s and 70s right sure uh, do you remember a, 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 a guy who sold washing machines and, and refrigerators called JGE Appliance? Yes, uh, when, I do. When, I Brian, do. when Brian said, the, the guy used to get on, he says, hey, Jerry, what's the story? And he says, I'll tell you the story. You show your union card at the door, and we'll get your appliances so cheap you think they fell off the back of a truck. And uh, so, you know, guys that grew up in New York in the 60s and 70s remember Jerry from JGE. And Brian he had said uh oh yeah he probably it probably fell off the back of a truck but uh he's young enough that he might not remember jge appliance and uh, those advertisements don't you don't remember them but alex boy, boy can you sidetrack a show oh, well shit. jge that was really 
off the rail. There. Yeah, that oh. just that just took us way off onto a side road and into All a right. ditch. Well, he, what about Denison's? Talking, he's been talking to Mike Allen a lot lately. Yeah, what about you know Denison's? Do you remember Denison's? You're, uh, you're, we're going they sold for, clothes. We're, now we're trying to pull that car out of a j ditch, and you're yeah. only letting it sink into the <laughs> well, swamp. Money talks, nobody walks. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you didn't grow up in New York, so you, you don't know. It doesn't matter. Story. Neither did any of these other people, except for Jeff. The rest of them, like me, don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, well, I, I like talking. the idea of it falling off the back did of the truck. You, were you born around? Were, did were you born around here, Brian? Around here, I'm, I'm a South Jersey boy. You're, you're a South Jersey boy from the very beginning, huh? Yeah. So, 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 what are you saying? Are you saying that the whole phrase "falling off the back of a truck" came from uh, this J.G. Wentworth of a? No, of no, no. Uh, but he he kind of made it famous on TV because there's this big fat guy with a with a hard hat, and uh, he would say, uh, "Yay, Jerry, what's the story?" And you know, hey, we only got three minutes left. Let's waste it on this. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, uh, I just uh, your eye your eye watch. Do you have the Cardia Mobile thing? The what? Uh, where you touch it and and it does yes. your heart. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. He yeah. touches it and he can see that his heart's still working. Yeah. No, it does something else. Yeah, but it actually, actually, rhythm. what this watch does, and you may not have heard of this, and I, I really want everybody to know. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, it also tells time. See, Holy it has. Moly. Uh, yeah, it actually has. Wow, a, and it wasn't even made by J.G. Wentworth. No, J.G. -E. It actually has a time on it, you know. And this iPhone here, yeah. amazing, amazing. You know all the wonderful things it can do, but you can also make a phone call on it. Yep. Not if you don't, you don't pay have your to bill. Put a quarter in it. Huh? You don't yeah. have to stick a quarter. Right. In it to get it oh God, I have a I have a memo up here that just came out. See that? If I were to go in, what does it say? What? 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 Oh, right, oh, is that right, from right, the NRA? Right. No, it says NBA championship. NBA. Golden State Warriors win. Win. That and so World War III has been, has been declared, but that's a minor story. 80, what? West Bank 80. Off the Bay Bridge, they're not allowing people to, to exit into San Francisco if you go west on the Bay Bridge. Why? Because Well, because there's Riots. so many crowds of people around the stadium. Oh, God. You know. Uh, can't people celebrate and not affect other people that aren't in the celebration? Yeah. No, know. because they know they won't get arrested in San Francisco. You, you, you win a game, you don't need to burn down Oakland. You know? No. They got Chase Center got outdoor viewing, and then they had the indoor Chase Center. They had people in there, too. Wow. wow. They're wow. saying that it takes 60 minutes to cross from the Oakland side to the San Francisco side right now. I guess you're not going there tonight. Oh, no, definitely not. Hmm. Well, Holy shit. An anyway. hour on the Bay Bridge? Think of all the gas you burn up. Right. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So uh, uh, it, it, we've, uh, we, well, we did this one, and it actually worked tonight. That's right. And yeah. I was having glitching with my picture, which I don't have anymore, and it's terrific, you know. It's really uh, been uh, very good all Fifth the way around. Fifth Street, Fremont Street, Ninth okay. Street. Okay, nobody also. cares. This thing goes out to the world. They don't care well, about they, Fremont well, Street. If they're, on the, if they're on the highway, they oh, care. Boy. Hey, Alan, you can get appliances like they just fell off the back of the truck. <laughs> we got to have you turn down your mic a little bit next time there, Phil. Okay. Like it off? No, no. Anyway, right. hey, listen, everybody. It's been nice having you here. Uh, thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. I wanted to do this tonight with you because we couldn't do it last night. I want to thank you, Jeff, for being here. I want to thank uh, um, uh, Mr. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, I, want, I want to thank Alan. I want to thank Kevin. And, of course, uh, Bathtub Brian as well. And uh, did I tell you I'm going to see my doctor on Monday so he can tell me about the results and what we're going to do about my, you know. You know Limp so, Yeah. So I'm anticipating that. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine, too. I'll correct myself as well. They do get some natural gas out of the fracking, but 
Not as much, but we'll oh. talk about that later. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, uh, Brian. And thank you, Kevin. Thanks to all of you. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? And then I'll also give wave goodbye to the audience out there. And thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, right here. Uh, uh, next on this uh, uh, GabNet is uh, Jack Bishop, and he does the intersection. and be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>